Hey, happy Black Friday, everyone. John, again, I'm going to play some Immaculate Grid here. Uh, I'm going to play an old grid, number 13. Um, I just, uh, I, I did pretty well in the rarity score por portion of today's grid, which is 236. I uh, got a nine, which is, I think, a good score. On the uh, timed portion, I messed up. I put a pitcher in for 10 home runs. Didn't really work out because I was putting it in the wrong category. Um, also, 10 home runs and 10 wins are now categories, which seems weird to me, but whatever. Um also in the rarity round, Chris Sabo, way more popular than I thought. But uh, in any event, I uh, I got to slow down. Slow is fast and fast is smooth or whatever the expression is. Um, and uh, that's, uh, or, or yeah, whatever, whatever it is. Slow is fast, fast is dumb, I think. Because um, I, I was just rushing through and I have mixed up the categories. And that's twice in a row I've done that. So. I'm going to take a step back on these timed rounds. Just make sure I'm hitting the right category. I have to like deliberately say it or something. Um, let's see. I think I want to, I'm going to share my screen. And yeah, that's the, this is the one where I can see, but yeah, it's, it's grid 13. I just played 12 yesterday. So we're going to go play now and then I'm going to hit play and away we go. All right, so I know Vicente Padilla works here. That might be a little popular. Uh, let's go Todd Zeal. Actually, I might be uh, using all the wrong people here. Kurt Schilling. I'm gonna have to come up with someone on the, the next next round here. Uh, I Let's see, Randy Johnson. Uh, Gerardo Parra, I believe. Yeah. Ooh, that might have been the better rarity one. Sandberg definitely won gold gloves. And then Pudge Rodriguez. I think we're pretty safe with Juan Gonzalez and Sammy Sosa. All right, so I go under a minute with a 163 rarity, which I wasn't even really trying for rarity. Um, yeah, 98 MVPs right there. Gonzalez had 101 RBI before the all-star break. Vicente Padilla is kind of my go-to for Philadelphia and Arizona. He was traded for Kurt Schilling, which is how I remember that one. So I'm going to have to come up with someone for the rarity round. Might, uh, that might be a little sloppy. Uh, Gerardo Parra taking 2%. That was the first name that came to mind. Now I'm trying to, I guess Goldschmidt probably won gold gloves. Um, Randy Johnson, no surprises there. I think I've got a good one for the rarity round. Todd Zeal at point one was <laughs> that was that was way too uh way too low. I should have I should have saved that in my back pocket. I also could have used it here, used him here. Um Yeah, dang. Now I'm gonna have to probably gonna have to get a little creative here. But did go under a minute. So let's see, uh, stop sharing for a second and then start sharing on the incognito mode. This was the rarity score nine. Can I hit, ref uh, no, I'm not gonna hit refresh. I'm gonna go back to grid number 13. Might be faster, just type slash 13. All right. And well, you guys can't even see my clock anymore. That's gone. All right, let's come up with some unique people. Uh, let's see, right off the bat. Diamondbacks, I remember specifically that Damian Miller was an all-star for the Diamondbacks. I remember because it was surprising. So he goes point two. It's a pretty good start. Um, I just used this guy on grid number two, 36, but he just keeps working. Raleigh Hemsley. Oh, three after the decimal. That's that's powerful. Uh, let's see. Philadelphia and Texas. I know that uh, uh, Jamie Moyer will work. Jamie Moyer usually draws draws some non-trivial numbers, though. Um, let's see. All-star for Texas. Um, maybe we get a Buddy Bell in there. I think he would have been an all-star. Uh, Frank Howard is usually a safe. Actually, let's go with Hondo. He just died. Let's pay him a tribute. I like doing that sometimes. 
tribute to Frank Howard, the Capitol Punisher, because he works for the Washington Senators. He was also Dodgers Rookie of the Year. He also works there. So he does go sub 1%. Um, now let's see. What's a good Cubs All-Star? Like a pretty obscure one. Um, if we're going back... I wonder if Charlie Root ever made an all-star game. That'd be an interesting one. I, I But I don't know for sure, so I'm not going to play him. I'm also trying to think. We've decided that Manny Trio never won a gold glove or an all-star. Actually, you know what? He Was he an all-star? Was that what it was? Trio had all his, his hardware with the Phillies, so incidentally, he would have worked here. Um, I want to say he might have been an all-star, though, with the Cubs. I've struck out with him before, though. I got to be careful on that one. Um, actually, gold glove for Texas. I'm very sure Buddy Bell will work. Jim Sundberg, I believe, will work as well. Um, I know Buddy Bell didn't work for Cleveland. I think it, when he was with Cleveland, I, he might have still been overlapping a little bit with Brooks Robinson. And maybe Greg Nettles, but by the time he gets to Texas, it's the '80s, and I think he's able to flourish and win Gold Gloves. I think I've got that order of events right. Okay, he takes three percent, so it wasn't that great a pick. Um, I want to say Trio. Like I looked it up, and Trio did have an All Star appearance, I think, with the Cubbies. Oh, but I'm uh I'm not a hundred percent sure and I don't wanna I don't wanna blow it. But you know, I shouldn't be too gun shy. Um it's coming over. Ron Santo will definitely work for, for the Cubs at, at third base. Um I'm trying to think, do they have a uh, probably Greg Maddox. If I'm trying to like I, I think Greg Maddox won gold gloves uh for the Cubs. I also think actually that's I'm very sure he did, and I don't think that's going to be a uh, a good way to go, uh, just because of how popular he is. Um, you know, famous, he's one of the best pitchers of all time. He also had 16 or 18 Gold Glove awards or something like that. Uh, I don't know about Mark Grace over at first base, uh, and maybe Morandini over at second. We've established that Sandberg was winning. Gold gloves. I guess Morandini replaced Sandberg at second base for the Cubs. Um, that '98 season. Um, but I I don't have any confidence in in that pick. Santo, I'm very confident in. Don't think Ernie Banks was ever winning. Uh, at shortstop, who else has played shortstop? Sean Dunstan, maybe. Uh, anyone really of note? I think I'll go. I mean, Santo's. Can I do better than that? I looked at gold gloves a while back. I know gold gloves are a category I usually struggle with, and I'm I am struggling here. So maybe I just go with uh keep the third base theme going. So Sano also takes three percent. So down here, I don't know about Matt Williams. I think Steve Finley probably works though. Um I think Granky probably works. Goldschmidt. I was surprised to see Gerardo Para so low. Um, just because I'm not that familiar with uh, these gold glovers uh, over here let's instead of going shilling let's I can't go with Padilla I'm going to try Gene Segura I believe he played for Philadelphia oh that's too popular ooh 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 Ah, uh, that's not. This is not going to be a good rarity score round. Um, let's see. I want to say, how about for this one? Let's try Lefty Loogie reliever Arthur Rhodes. Yeah, point one. That's a lot better. I'll start for the Cubs. Still trying to come up with someone unique. Um. I think there was, I guess, even when the Cubs weren't that great in like the early 2000s, like in between, they got the wild card in 98 and then they almost went to the World Series in 03. In between, 
not as good, but Sosa was always getting uh, earning All Star appearances. So, um, in fact, may, maybe in the maybe in the early like the twenty teens, who was that? Uh, Starling Castro might work. Um, since I'm not, I'm kind of striking out on coming up with hugely popular guys from like. Maybe in the if I go to the seventies, I could go Bruce Souter. See how he does. There's no way he didn't get an All Star nod at one point. Okay, he takes point three. That was probably about Sarah Castro. Um, but yeah, Diamondbacks, huh? Let's go, Steve Finley. Let's see. Us. I'm not even that confident on this one, but it worked. Twenty seven with eleven coming from Steve Finley. And nine coming from Jane Skir. So these were not good rarity picks. I actually used good rarity picks in the speed round. But when I'm doing the speed round, I don't want to be like, it, it feels like a little too much gamesmanship to be like, no, I'm going to save you for later. <laughs> the idea is just to get through it as fast as possible. I'm trying to beat a minute. So I did beat a minute this time. Did not get a great rarity score. Let's look at the options while we're here. Um, I said it's been 11 Gold Glove winners, Goldschmidt, by far the most popular. Um, I guess we can just search for era. Let's see, Marino won the Gold Glove uh, this season. Granke won four in a row. Goldschmidt, Walker, I knew Walker. Um, Orlando Hudson, I should have gotten. Uh, Ahmed, I think they mentioned, because they replaced him at shortstop, which was surprising because... It was a multi-time uh, Gold Glove winner. Parra just won the once. You know, I might have been fusing David Peralta and Gerardo Parra in my head as being like that same. I, I think I was thinking. Parra, I was thinking earlier. I was thinking, yeah, 2011. I was thinking Parra was the guy I was thinking of, not not Peralta. Pollock on here, AJ Pollock, right? And then Finley. As Finley was in was the earliest All Star, so. Um, I mean, maybe if it, because it's so new, if you go with, uh, Marino, other than that, I, I, Parra might've been, Parra or Peralta might've been the best picks. So, all right. Well, um, I did well in the speed round. I did less well, but still pretty good on the rarity round. Um, I kind of want to redeem myself and try to get both at the same time in the, in the daily grid 236, I struck out very early on the timed round, but then got a nine on the rarity score. I wanted to just put it all together for one episode, but, um, you know, hopefully I'll get there eventually. I might play another one today. It's black Friday. I'm not working. So anyway, have a good rest of your weekend. And, uh, once again, these episodes are brought to you by my book. Thanks to everyone who's, who's bought it and read it. I didn't think anyone was going to read it other than maybe my mom. So, um, it warms my heart that, uh, some people have been not just buying it, but, you know, reading it and commenting on it. Um, yeah, it, it was just something I, I wrote to kind of pay tribute to my, my old man there and uh, um, warms my heart that people are actually reading the words I've written. And thanks for hanging through it, even though there's definitely some grammatical mistakes that I've already found. And uh, so I'll try to release a rev to, you know, fixing some of that stuff up and maybe adding some updates for the 2023 season. We'll see. Um, that might be a little project for uh, for this winter. But uh, thanks a lot for playing. And we'll be back at it uh, either later today or tomorrow. Peace.